Hey guys, Joe Davis Eggy here. Today I have a little bit of a different video. Not Pokemon, not VeggieTales. <clears throat> now let's see. <clears throat> My sister works in the Dollar Tree, as you know, and she told me about these. Sterling Battle for Atlas figures at Dollar Tree. <clears throat> Just always happens. Every time I start a video, I start getting a cough. I ain't got the wrong, I promise. You already know. But yeah. So yeah, three different ships. Each one of them a dollar. I'm not going to open all three of these. Um, the only one I got another one to open was this one because it looks the coolest. So yeah, let's have a look at the ships. The first one is called Nadir. Uh, at least I guess that's what the ship is. And the character's name is Shade Nullifiers the Gun. I never played this game, but hey, if I wanted to try it, I could just use the figures. Yeah, Shade it has the information about the character. Shade is a cunning, cunning smuggler who disappears and attacks without warning. The gun is null fires, trap enemies in a vortex with guided gravity missiles. Nadir, the ship, blast past enemy starships with a rocket class ship. And this is all the stuff that tells you how to put the thing together. And that's the uh, other ships, characters, whatever. I don't know. I I don't know exactly how many there are because you see, there's four cars right there, or four vehicles. And there's that, and there's that, and I probably, I, I went over there as fast as I could because I thought it was going to be uh, the Star Fox one, but uh, no, I didn't think that that was only part of the game bundle for the Switch, but I probably will buy that because I found it really cheap on eBay. Let's have a look. I can get it to focus. Yeah, this is the blue ship. This one's called the Neptune. Levitator is the gun, I guess, and then Judge is the character. Little weird alien dude. Judge, mysterious alien with the power to slow time to his advantage. Levitator, hold enemies helplessly in the air for an, un for an easy victory. And Neptune, endure heavy enemy fire with a tank class ship. Attach your ship, choose your pilot, blah, 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 blah. Looks pretty neat. And of course, last but not least, we have the Lance. Imploder is the gun, and Hunter Haka is the character. Looks like a Fortnite character. He really do. Honorable warrior who pierces multiple targets with his ship. Imploder take out a group of enemies with a black hole lance intercept fast foes with a performance class ship blah 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 blah, blah. complete your fleet and they didn't have the red one at dollar tree but yeah this is the one i will be opening and i will actually just go ahead and rip it open let me see whichever one's in better condition i'm gonna keep sealed might be worth something uh, about lord knows how long yeah we're gonna open this one Oh man, these things are. Ugh. I was like, I can't believe this thing's at Dollar Tree. And then I remembered they had the Angry Birds telepods there at one point. There's a little thing that tells you all about it. Blah 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 blah. I don't read Japanese. And I'm probably not even gonna get the game, but who knows? It's a downloadable game, I'm pretty sure. So here's the gun. Looks nice. China. And then eh. there's the dude. It's not a dude. It's a man. Whoa, it's got like a little chip in there. If you'll see that. That way when you read it, I guess it all plugs in and choose the character and the gun. Yeah, that's got a chip in it too. Pretty lit. And the ship itself looks. If I can even get it out, 
This is the one that looks the most like an R-Wing, but they all look like M Zero cars to me. But I heard the game was not very good. But hey, I don't know. That's just what everybody be saying. I haven't played it for myself, and I probably will eventually. Unless the game's like $20 and makes you pay for it. Why can't I just buy the toys? Yeah, this looks like an F-Zero car, but it looks very cool. Now, uh, do the wings move or anything? They can, oh, they come apart, but I don't know why. Yeah, the wings come apart. What is this? Does this come apart? Probably going to completely damage this thing. Hmm. There should be something that drops down. The gun? No. Huh. Let's see. This is why you read instructions. Okay, let me piece the wings back on. Did I do it wrong? Oh, so this, I guess the gun goes in there. Something. Oh, it's literally just snap in here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is that is that it? <laughs> is that all you do? Let me see. Where's a piece of paper I ripped off? Okay, so um Am I missing a piece? No? I don't, I don't think so. Huh, so you do this. Oh, okay, I see now. So you're supposed to have this little base that I guess comes with the game. You just put it in like that, put the gun on there, and then put it in the game. Okay. So, or I guess if you have just the toy, you can just pop them in there. And, uh, I don't know. It looks pretty cool, though. You see the dude in there? Yeah, I'm going to get that Star Fox one eventually. That's the one I'm going to get. But, uh, overall, it's a really nice detail figure. But, uh, yeah. Did I even put it, put it back together right? I'm thinking I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it looks like it looks a little bit like an R wing. Very nice. Which what size is the gun supposed to go on? Oh, are you supposed to have a second gun? Huh. Don't know. But uh, yeah, it's kind of basic with just one gun. I guess you get more guns the um more stuff you have. Don't know. Looks pretty cool though. I just didn't want to open the other two because I didn't want just random toys in my room. Alright. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh wait, wait, wait. One more one more thing. You know how I am every video. Pokemon, let's get that. Rainbow Rare. Jigglypuff. Or the alternate art full art. I don't know. One of the full arts. I don't care. Let's see. Tag call. Ralts and Passivian. All right.